Should you plan a visit to Walt Disney World this year? Let me explain, and then I'll have my answer. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Things are uncertain and unclear for the year 2021. We have a vaccine coming. Whether you choose to take it or not, the point is we have a vaccine. And that will start to bring back things to a normal life once again. 2021 at Walt Disney World is a big year for the company as we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of WDW. And that is a huge milestone and accomplishment for the company. There will be a 50th anniversary celebration somehow, but as of this recording, we haven't heard anything from the company. Regardless, October 1st, 2021, you will want to be in Magic Kingdom or around that time frame. You will want to be in Walt Disney World for the new things coming and whatever celebration they end up doing. Let's talk about some of the new enhancements coming to the parks to celebrate the 50th anniversary. We have Tron coming to the Magic Kingdom. We have Guardians of the Galaxy, Ratatouille, a new fireworks show called Harmonious, and a restaurant themed around space called Space 220, all coming to Epcot. We also have a brand new hotel coming themed around Star Wars, possibly a new nighttime parade at Magic Kingdom and possibly a upgrade of Happily Ever After coming to the Magic Kingdom. I do want to say the closure of Walt Disney World this year did delay a lot of the construction work that's happening on those new enhancements. So please keep that in mind. And we also still don't have an opening date for a lot of these upcoming attractions. The pandemic in 2020, of course, closed down every single Disney park in the world. But here at WDW, some resorts, restaurants, and offerings still hasn't reopened or returned. As of this filming, we know these following Disney World hotels are getting ready to reopen this year. Disney's All-Star Movies Resort reopening March 22nd. Disney's Beach Club Resort reopening May 30th. Disney's Wilderness Lodge is reopening June 6th and Disney's Polynesian Village Resort is reopening this summer of 2021. Pretty much every other Disney World resort has reopened, including all DVC resorts. Tickets and budgeting is a big one that I want to cover. Again, as of this filming, if you plan on coming to Walt Disney World, just know you will still be paying full price for about 50 to 60% of the experience. As of right now, Disney is not offering fireworks, no character meet and greets, no stage shows, and again, a lot of the resorts and restaurants are still not reopened. We still don't know if special events will return this year, including After Hours, Not So Scary, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, but we do know Modified Park Hopping has returned. And just to give my own personal opinion here, I really can see Disney bringing back fireworks at some point around spring break-ish or before prime summertime returns this year. I don't know. I just really think Disney will bring it back, especially because of this last Christmas season. Disney brought back some kind of firework burst with those Christmas projections. And I know Disney is missing a lot of money because of fireworks and no characters, no entertainment, but all of the other local theme parks around Central Florida, they either have some kind of firework experience or a character experience. The crowds and safety is another big point that I do want to talk about. Right now, Disney is currently operating at a 35% capacity, or that's what they are saying they are operating at. But just know they will increase the capacity the further we get into the year. And I can see it getting back to almost 100% normal by the end of 2021 into 2022. Always look on Disney's website for package deals to save you a little bit of money. Also, don't forget there are some great hotel options off Disney property, but still very close to the parks that offer transportation to the parks or the same accommodations. Just remember, safety begins with you, and the parks are doing everything they can do to keep you and us safe. There has been some times where I felt uncomfortable at the parks due to safety reasons. So I remove myself from the situation and I leave the park for that day. But just remember, everyone's safety level is different. 
I just want you to keep that in mind to stay safe. We do know that Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park is reopening March 7th, 2021. We still haven't heard anything of Disney reopening Typhoon Lagoon. Also, as of this filming, we still don't know about the future of Disney Cruise Line. If anything changes that I talked about in this video in the future, I'll be sure to say so down in the comments. Are you planning on coming to Walt Disney World this year? Let me know down in the comments as well with your thoughts and your own personal opinions. So I guess my answer to whether or not you should visit Walt Disney World this year in 2021. I say if you need to get out of the house, if you need a vacation, yes. But just know there are going to be some challenges. Like I had mentioned earlier, you're still paying full price for not the full experience. That is the big thing I want you to know taking away from this video. You're not going to get the full experience. But since the parks have reopened, I've had some great times in the parks. The crowds really haven't been as bad as before the pandemic happened. A lot of the rides are shorter, but you're still going to be waiting in a lot of lines. My bigger concern is Disney not having enough restaurants or enough food options available for you. Disney is slowly starting to reopen some of the restaurants and some of the quick services in the parks. I do know that we recently discovered a new kind of COVID, a new, I guess, strain of the virus. So that is pretty concerning to me. And if you feel some type of way, like some sort of uncertainty heading into this year, if you want to visit here, don't come. Um, <laughs> again, you're not going to be getting that full experience. So if you have any kind of hesitation still after watching this video or even doing your own personal research, I would say just wait until 2022. But if you are a risk taker, like I said, yes, then you should visit this year. I know as of this filming, the United States still isn't allowing international guests in to my knowledge, but I know that is going to be going away soon where you may have to do some kind of quarantine before getting here. I know I have a lot of UK viewers who are always asking me if I've heard anything and that's all I know as of right now. Anyway, I hope I was able to help make your mind up whether or not you should visit or make the trip out to Disney this year. I hope I was able to give you some more knowledge, but I really hope you and your family can make the trip back out to Disney, whether that's this year or next year. Hopefully the world becomes normal once again, because let's face it, I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of us watching right now are completely over this whole pandemic thing. I know I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you will always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. Also, make sure you're following along on Instagram. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out.